Tonight, a county divided. Several Bay Area law enforcement leaders are backing the governor's decision to suspend Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren. On the other side, leaders and many people who voted for him are calling for the governor's move to be overturned. We have team coverage of this bombshell suspension. From the battle in the state attorney's office to the response to how he says he's still committed to the job. The governor maintains Andrew Warren failed to perform his duties, but supporters outside the courthouse tell 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen it's all politics. A lot of intense reaction to this announcement today. Just hours ago, a crowd of nearly 100 people was gathered here behind me at the Hillsborough County Courthouse to show their support for Andrew Warren. His suspension comes as the governor accuses him of picking and choosing which laws he enforces. Andrew Warren has put himself publicly above the law. Announcing the suspension at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, Governor DeSantis cites Warren's position on transition-related health care for transgender youth, abortion rights, and his policies on prosecuting certain criminal violations. When you flagrantly violate your oath of office, when you make yourself above the law, uh, you have violated your duty. Among those to show support for the move, Attorney General Ashley Moody and Hillsborough Sheriff Chad Cronister. The governor should suspension of state attorney Warren is not political to me. It's about law and order. Following the overturn of Roe v. Wade, Warren joined prosecutors nationwide declining to go after people who seek, provide, or support abortions. But he says a case about abortions or trans health care has never crossed his desk. The governor's order is just based on pure conjecture and lies about what he thinks I'm going to do with cases that haven't even come before me yet. Warren was twice elected to be state attorney in Hillsborough County and calls the governor's actions an illegal overreach. I was shocked at the blatant violation of one of the most fundamental principles of our democracy, that the people, the voters, get to elect elected officials. That same shock and frustration motivating this crowd to rally Thursday afternoon. We're here today to show support for Andrew Warren and also let DeSantis know he's not going to get away with this. Among the attendees, Hillsborough County Commissioner Mariella Smith. Coming in here and removing a duly elected state attorney just shocked me to my core. This is something you see in Russia or China, not the United States of America. So what's next? It appears a Senate committee or a special master must hold a hearing on this suspension within the next 90 days. Also, Andrew Warren says he'll fight this, filing in state court as soon as tomorrow. In Tampa, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. Democratic gubernatorial candidates Nikki Fried and Charlie Christ are outraged by the governor's move. They say he's overstepping his authority. Over and over again, he's picking out different groups to tear Florida apart, to pit people against one another. This kind of activity on behalf of our governor is not new, uh, but it's awful, and it needs to stop. The governor once again has shown that he is a fascist, that if you dare cross him, that he is going to remove you from office if you don't obey by his rules and his laws. This has fueled all of us to fight harder. Ron DeSantis declared war today. Governor DeSantis temporarily replaced Warren with his own appointee, Hillsborough Judge Susan Lopez, and she spoke at his announcement today. It is my promise to the people of Hillsborough County that I will faithfully execute the duties of this office and to ensure that we are fulfilling its purpose to prosecute crimes and protect the people of Hillsborough County. Now, 10 investigates dug into Lopez's career, and Jennifer Titus joins us with some insight into the new appointee.